The 2023 Subaru Outbacks have finally arrived. We just got our first ones in off the truck and I'm super excited to show you guys today the new updates for the touchscreen display. These are updates that I talked about in a previous video where I was kind of bashing Subaru a little bit on some things that they could do better with the large 11.6 inch touchscreen display that is in the Outback. So they have addressed some of those issues and I'm excited to show you guys all of these, including the now wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So we're gonna touch on that and more in this video. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly videos just like this, talking about news and updates all related to Subarus. So if you enjoy that, please be sure to click that subscribe button down below. And if you guys learn something new and get value out of this video, please be sure to click the like button. Before we hop inside the car, I do wanna take just a quick moment to look at the exterior of the car. By the way, for anybody who is curious, my 2023 Outback Onyx Edition is expected to arrive here in the month of September. I don't have an exact ETA yet, but hopefully, fingers crossed, it arrives here in the next couple weeks and I'll be making a more in-depth video on the 2023 Outback and more specifically on the Onyx and all that is offered on that trim level. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, guys, I really love the look of the new 2023 Outback. I know when the 2023 was first released, when the pictures first came out online, I wasn't so sure about the cladding that was added here and the larger wheel arch cladding. That is something that I felt sort of indifferent on at first, but now I do really enjoy the look of this. I'm super excited to have one for myself. I think it looks really good and looks sportier in my opinion. Up front, they did change the front grill. So this has the like the honeycomb style grill, whereas the previous generation has the straight lined grill. So it just it looks a lot better in my eyes. Subaru also brought back the round fog lights. A lot of people wanted these, and so they did bring them back. I think this also is a great addition. Whenever you look at the previous model, you'll see that they have the rectangular fog lights. The headlights also received an update. You can see they have these sharp edges around the sides. And when you look close, this isn't really that noticeable in pictures, but in person, you can see how the side of the headlight plastic kind of kicks out a little bit. It's hard to tell on pictures, but in video, of course, you should be able to see this much easier. Here are the headlights on the previous year. You can tell they're much more rounded. They don't have sharp edges. They do still have the LED headlights, but they just don't have the same design. It's not as aggressive looking or as sporty looking as the new 2023. And since a lot of people have asked, I will show you guys this new cladding right here on the front bumper. People have asked about this and whether or not these are functional vents. They are not, so that is just a solid piece of plastic there. Although it's not functional, it does still look cool and from far away, nobody will tell. Now let's hop inside and check out this new updated infotainment display for the new 2023 Outback. So here's what it looks like. Of course, it looks almost identical to the previous model. You still have the 11.6 inch touchscreen display, but Subaru added wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I'm gonna show you how to connect that here in just a moment, and it works really well. I'm excited for that because you no longer have to plug your cable in here to connect to your CarPlay. And in combination with that, Subaru finally addressed this lower portion of the screen to make it easier to control. They increased the size of these fan speed buttons. So these soft touch buttons are much larger. And here is what the old model looked like with the smaller fan speed controls. You can see that these fan speed buttons are much smaller. And so you have to more accurately press on the screen to adjust it accordingly. Subaru also updated the heated seat controls. You no longer have to click into two screens. So here's what the previous model looked like. You had to click on the heated seat icon and then you had to click a second location to adjust your heated seat. Now it's all on the home screen. So whenever you touch it, it will turn your heated seats on. Touch it again, it's medium, low, and off. You can do this for both the driver and the passenger. So this is a much needed upgrade. 
something that I think should have been done originally, but I'm glad to see that they have made those changes. Good news for those who have the previous 2020 through 2022 Subaru Outbacks, you will still receive the same design updates with the heated seat controls and the climate controls. You just have to do an update within your settings. Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi. Go to your software update, check for updates. Whenever that becomes available, you will be able to update to this new design layout. The 2023 is the only year that's going to have the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. In order to connect your phone wirelessly through Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you just connect your phone through Bluetooth. And the way you do that is by selecting the little phone icon here down to the bottom right. We click on add, we pick up our phone, we go to settings in our phone, we click on Bluetooth, and we look for the device name Outback on our phone. Then we select Outback, click on pair and allow. And now our phone is syncing up for the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You also have to opt in on your phone to click use CarPlay. And then yes to enable it. We're not gonna add it as a favorite. Now we are connected and you can see that although this car is not equipped with navigation, I can actually utilize navigation from my phone, from the CarPlay, so I can take my phone, I can put it away or put it in my pocket, store it out of the way. I can also listen to music by clicking on my Spotify app, or if I wanna select different apps, I can go over here by selecting the little menu app icon down here to the bottom left. You can do hands-free calling, hands-free text, Google Maps, Apple Maps. If you have Waze, you can do Waze. There's multiple different applications you can use through CarPlay and makes driving more enjoyable. We're gonna go over this touchscreen display in a lot more detail in the next coming weeks as soon as my Outback Onyx Edition arrives. But one other thing I wanna show you guys today is something that I'm happy they updated and that is AVH. It stands for Auto Vehicle Hold. I'm gonna show you what that does and what they changed on the new 2023 model. So when AVH is activated and you come to a complete stop, say it's at a stop sign, a stoplight, maybe you're waiting for a train to pass or there's traffic, you can let your foot off the brake. So my foot is completely off the brake. It allows me to relax. When traffic proceeds, I can just give it gas and go very quickly without having to worry about putting my car back into gear, because otherwise, if you wanna let your foot off the brake, you have to first put it in park. So it's really convenient. And now I'm gonna show you how to turn that on and off and how it's different. The old way to turn the AVH system on and off is by clicking on this button that has the car on it, and then going right here in the middle and toggling on AVH. It's not that difficult. It's just a minor inconvenience and it has you clicking through two screens. When it is on, by the way, you will see it lit up green right there telling you that it is on. Now there's a new way to activate your AVH. If you scroll over to the second screen, there is a quick option to toggle on and off your AVH. What is also nice is that you can adjust these apps and move this to the home screen. You just click and hold and then you move this over, you slide it over to the left. We'll drop it right there and then click on the home button. So now whenever you get in your car, your AVH will be able to quickly turn on and off. The reason why this caused a minor annoyance in the past is because you'll notice the AVH is on. Whenever I turn my car off and turn it right back on, the AVH defaults to off. Well, now you can quickly just turn it right back on whenever you want to. There's a lot more to this car and I plan to uncover that in the next coming weeks. If you guys enjoy content like this, please be sure to click the subscribe button down below. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section below and let me know your all's thoughts. What do you guys think of the new 2023 Subaru Outback exterior and the new updated infotainment display? I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one.